so I use open strings very often, either comping or in some of my chord melodies, and a lot of that has to do with just trial and error as opposed to a systematic approach to it, but I can demonstrate a little for you. Essentially, unless I'm using a note in the bass, it's usually going to be one of the top three open strings, the G, the B, or the high E string. So let me give you an example of how some of these sounds can be applied. Uh, typically, if you're comping, I use the open strings if I'm sitting on a chord for more than a couple of bars, just because you want that sustaining quality to happen unless you're sitting on a chord for quite a while at any tempo. For example, I'm sure everybody knows this variation on C major 7. What I might do is put the 9 on top and use the open E string. Same note on top, but the quality of the, of the sound is really different with the open string. Uh, a sound I used in an earlier piece that we talked about is this which is the same 9 on top with the open 3rd, but I've got now the flattish 5th and the 5th together. So now I have two open strings, the G and the E. Maybe I'll put the 5th below it. I might decide to put a triad above it. So there's a D triad. Or I might use the open G string. In this case, I have the A and the G, so there's a second. I might also decide to use the close interval of the flatted fifth and the fifth on top of the open string. Now, that might be appropriate for something like a ballad or something with rubato where I have plenty of time to let that happen. Um, I might do something like this. I probably wouldn't double that. I'd probably maybe put, put it up here. That's a chord I use sometimes. Again, for a slower tempo or a situation where you want that chord to really be sitting, you're sitting on that chord for a minute. So there's C, F sharp, and G, sharp 11, and then the third on top. Oh, some other possibilities with this. If I know that the open B string is going to function as a major 7 in the key of C, then maybe I'll go from a, um, maybe I'll put the, or maybe, case, if I'm spelling the chord bottom to top, it's tonic, sorry, fifth, tonic, third, sorry, fifth, <laughs> fifth, tonic, sharp, five, five, sixth, major seven, tonic. So maybe I'll think of these notes as little pedal points and do things right. So anytime I'm in the key of C, I, can, I have my major third and my major seven function on those top two strings. So I might even take a C triad. Maybe put the nine here the 7 and double it. If I want to use the open G up here, I might take the same C triad and put the flatted fifth below it. Maybe I would play, um, I'm thinking out loud here a little. Probably wouldn't do that. Here's one I like, actually. So it's just a G triad with the C below it and the open E on top is my third. If I want to make that liddy and I could do, sorry, what am I thinking of? Right here. So there's tonic, flat as fifth, tonic again, and the open G. So you can see that it's trial and error in my case. I know the formula for the major chord, but I know that any one of those top three open strings can function. If I'm playing a C major, I have fifth, major seventh, and major third from uh, bottom to top, G, D, E. Now that same B string could also work if I'm playing a melodic or harmonic minor. That gives me the major seven against a minor chord. So this shape major. Here's now melodic or harmonic minor. Or I might decide to put, if I wanted to make that harmonic minor, I could play it as so. Here's one I use sometimes, same with the fifth and the bass. So there's five, tonic, minor, third, six, major, seven. That could also be a nice on a, like an F, an F uh, Lydian dominant that has the sharp 11 on top of an F chord. Or so essentially I'll take lots of variations on C minor and incorporate the open G as the fifth or the uh, open B string as the major seven. So I might take a minor triad up here. Or maybe. So there's minor. So that again, that there's a minor major seven anytime I'm adding the B. If I want to make it minor major six, I could play, sorry, what am I want to do there? Right there. So there's tonic, fifth, sixth, minor third, major seven. So you can see that in my case, it's trial and error, but the formula in that case is using the open B string or some combination of various versions of C minor.